Hello guys, welcome back again to Tutorials Point. Now in this video we will be covering about the commands for a web element. Now what are the commands of web element? Say I'm having an element uh, button. What uh, command or what process I can do on it? I can you know click click on the button. I can submit a button or I or if it's an input box I can clear it. Now let's see all these functions that can be done one by one. So the very first being clear. You know whenever like uh, say if I'm having a login form. Then it is a general tendency to first clear so that in case any value that has been written can be removed before you start writing this one. So this is a function. This is having nothing as a parameter. So neither you pass nor it, this uh, method returns anything to you. Then send keys. This method is uh, is actually having a you know a character sequence which is basically similar to a keystroke. Say you are typing TP in the username then you have to pass the gp over here and this would be very similar to you typing on your keyboard screen this returns nothing but accepts the parameter in the form of character sequence after this click say you are on a button and you want to click a button so you press on the click this stimulates the clicking of an element it accepts nothing as a parameter and returns nothing but performs an action or a form submit anything that you want to do on on a click can be done using the click command or click function submit this methods work better uh, than click uh, if in case the element is in a form and you know like we use submit whenever we are having a form and it actually invokes the action method of the form it accepts nothing as a parameter and returns nothing now let's quickly go to our screens and see working of these methods uh, so guys uh, now welcome back again uh, now like as you already discussed about the web element commands and you know we have seen some common commands like uh, clear the working of send keys uh, the click and the submit now in this particular session the practical one we would be seeing how actually we can work on these commands one by one right uh, so without wasting much of our time now let's quickly open up our eclipse and you know uh, get started with you know running up our uh, projects and you know creating a project wherein we would be actually having the uh, web element commands set up and running so for this what I request you to kindly is you know to create a project named as web elements uh, command demo right now in this one uh, under the src folder just click on new and click on package create a new package say web dot element dot command dot demo the package is just to you know create that yes to inform that you know what all uh, what all files will be there into this particular package uh, a package is basically a placeholder for all the java classes uh, where you try and keep the similar functionality or similar working java classes into uh, one place right so here i name my my uh, file or my class as web element command demo I also want the main function to be present so I you know write public static void main and I click on finish so here's this what I've got I've got a class created named as web element command demo and in this particular class I'm having a package under which the file the class is placed or the java file is placed uh, this is the f this is my class name and this is a method from where the execution should get started right so now what i'll do is the very first step or the very basic step is actually setting up of our property right so i set up the property the property is named as webdriver dot Giku dot driver and here I type in Giku driver. Now, like we need to find a URL where we, you know, wherein we would be uh, performing the testing. So what I'll do is I'll like open up my Firefox. So my Firefox has been opened up. Now, for your reference, let me show you a page where you know you can actually 
test or you know you can practice the testing right so search here selenium now here if you can look under the selenium useful resources you can find selenium automation practice right so what you will do is I'll simply uh, copy this link and perform the you know the working on to this link but I request you that you know what you can do is maybe from the from the home page you can navigate up to this page uh, using the selenium commands right so here my next step is to create a web driver I create a web driver I name it as driver equal to new the name the driver which I would be using it is new Maranta driver after this what is the next step is I need to get or I need to you know the open up the URL right so it's driver dot get in this get you in this get one I'm actually supposed to pass the URL which I'm supposed to get so I'm getting this URL right now now what I'll do is no I need a web element web element so onto this page I'll first type something into this first name one right so I inspect the element to find the property so I would be using the name so here's it web element I name it as name equal to driver dot find element by dot oh no we are using the name over here right so we pass the name property I paste my this one and here I am working fine and here I am working you know fine just to make sure that yes you know the name has been the name element has been found and it is of a type web element so under the name one the very first operation I would be performing I would be clearing if in case there is some text and then I am actually typing right so what I'll do is I'll send key by send key I can actually pass any sequence of character into my particular you know like uh, what you can call a input box or into your you know your, your form or any text area where you want to enter some values right so this is what I did now I'll also try and get another element the, like obviously we were using if you remember the click functionality as we were discussing so when we can perform click either it has to be on some of the form element itself so I would try to click onto this button that is present over here I am inspecting the element by chance this is also having the name property available to me so this is my web element I pass this element and I name it as submit underscore button and it's driver dot find element by dot obviously the name in the name if you can recall we have already copied the name so I paste my name over here and now the very simple task I need to click this one right so this was all for this particular web element now let's quickly run this project and see uh, the output onto our web driver or onto our Firefox. So this is my new instance of Firefox opening up. It's still loading, it's taking some time. You have to be patient for it. Once the page has been loaded up, like it is almost done, just 
the the actions were very quick let me first cancel this one and let me show you the working so tutorial has been typed over here into the first name and this button was clicked so if you remember if you can recall this is this was information that you were getting uh, alert this was on the click of this submit button right so like this was very simple pretty simple let me you know go through it once again so here's it my uh, I've created you know I've set the property first I created a new web element I'm getting the URL I'm getting the web element I'm you know typing something into the name field getting the uh, object or you know handling the web element which has the name submit and then I click on this element right so this was pretty simple uh, like maybe you can practice these things a bit more you can fill up the entire form that is displayed on the website it would help you to get some more insight into these uh, function functions like the clear the send keys in the click one so thank you guys for tuning in